I'm Carly Rangan and I'm here at Art Framer with Roger Lee and we are here to discuss all the things. All the things under the sun? Yes, all of them. <laughs> so Carly, yes, Roger. let's start with um, the journey from there to here. <laughs> That's a big one. Yeah. Are we starting in the dinosaurs? What's the, what, what, what's the big the start? What's the uh, big bang that led you here? Ah, uh, the big, the big decision making <laughs> over all the years. As an artist, uh, <laughs> how did I get here? Yeah. <laughs> ah. yeah. Uh, well, I was always an artist as a kid. I was on the kitchen floor drawing, yeah. painting, doing whatever, uh, and then. Uh, you know, life of a teenager to, oh, I guess I'm having a child all led that, to, all oh. All the things. So, yes, I had children young and, yeah. uh, you know, that old, I don't know what I want to be when I grow up. I still fall under that category, right. <laughs> but uh, the school system was an option to dive in and become a teacher assistant. Uh, my kid's dad was a teacher, yeah. so it was a good fit. So I did that for, oh, 16 years, oh. yes. Did you go into the schooling as your kids were growing? Yes, uh, yeah. So yeah, yeah. You, you had to juggle a lot of things. Yeah. Yes. No time for painting. There was no time. I did oh, a little yeah. when my first was a baby. I kind of dove in and I took a watercolor class with yes. a local artist, so that was very fun. But I just didn't have time. Yeah. So, yeah. So I did that. And then um, I just decided I needed to change. And so I left the school district. A yeah. friend of a friend actually asked if I wanted to start in uh, interior design. She was starting up a company. So I said, okay, I don't know much, but I can make headboards out of, you know, wood planks and stuff. Yep. <laughs> so yeah, I yeah. dove in, learned a whole bunch of stuff. <laughs> Went right into sort of carpentry. The, um, the well, I mean, I would muck around with um, activities and stuff at home, like yeah. projects. Oh. I was married to a teacher. It was a lot of let's do stuff at home. Oh, yeah, <laughs> so, handy, do yeah, do it myself. Yeah. So I did a lot of that. Yeah. So there, and then uh, yeah, interior design for 15, 16. Well, I consider I'm still kind of in it because yeah. I still kind of help with styling and such. Yeah. But so yeah, so almost 20 years and uh, self-taught. I used to peer mm. over at the floor plans and just watch, oh, and try yeah. to figure it yeah, out yeah. what they were yeah. talking about. Right. <laughs> So yeah, that was a uh, that was good. It was uh, again very artistic, creative. So, no longer w working with kids and behaviors. Now adults, creativity. So it was a totally yes. different spectrum. So, yeah, I've I've enjoyed that. Uh, I continue to enjoy that. But I was feeling like there was a niche that was missing, and because I've always loved art, I yeah. decided. Ooh, I'm just going to take a break. And so I kind of closed down my uh, design business and took an online art course, uh, Milan Art Institute down the Good, States. Right. Yeah, so I finished that up and I'm still painting and now I'm kind of doing both. Excellent. Yes. What a nice arc, yeah. <laughs> yeah. To pull together different things after yeah. you've really gotten into either one. And yeah. Yeah, it's, and the kids are a little older, more Oh yeah, empty nester, uh, empty, empty nester, nester now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah <Empty they're>, <laughs> I could be a nester too. <laughs> Come, children. <laughs> yeah, no, they're all out of the yeah. nest. I was empty ester before I started painting. Now I was I'm in the full. nest. Now I'm, now I'm a different nest. <laughs> Yeah. And how about you? How, how did you get here? Oh, start from where to there. Yes, from yes. Because now you're here um, in your art framing studio. Yeah, I'd, I'd been devoted entirely to making my own music since I was a teen. Folk and rock and singer-songwriter yeah. and moved to Toronto to, to go, dive headfirst right in. into it. Um, Fortunate to find a beautiful uh, local music scene in the 90s uh, that still makes me quiver with it. Um, and I, I'm still connected to some of these people as, mm, as long best friends. Um, get, I, as you get older, you got to get more practical because yes. uh, music, you know, there was always more money going out than ever coming in. Mm -hmm. And um, not sustainable. So I would jump from odd job to odd job in between kind of thing. But uh, eventually, thank God my cousin uh, Janet had started a picture framing shop in Vancouver in the 90s. And I would help her out occasionally. And then by the mid-2000s, I was hired on as her right-hand guy. 
and um, yeah, more and more into it. And then the last 10 years, uh, full-time working um, at the picture framing nook in a furniture showroom. Oh, interesting. A fellow who'd been making beautiful um, home, uh, handmade furniture for the community for decades. And where was that? That was in Vancouver. Oh, okay. yeah. So last year I'd had it with Vancouver <laughs> and other things. I mean, post-COVID uh, changed everything. Uh, it changed the world and made everything more, uh, much more difficult to afford, the cost of living, um, employment challenges with my part, uh, my, that my partner had, and uh, just hitting the wall after 30 years in Vancouver. Mm -hmm. So I've had enough of that. We moved here to be back home with my family and nice. people that I've known here for yeah. a long time. Well, the Okanagan's a nice place. Too. Yeah, what a beautiful, beautiful valley. Incredible scenery. And so many painters here. There's so many artists because I guess how can you resist? When right? You, when <laughs> There's so much inspiration. Yeah. 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 Yes. Any season. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. Yes. I know my favorite is the landscape. I love landscapes. Abstracts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hence we can the yeah, you can yeah. take aspects of what we're seeing out there, yeah. the mountain, the hillsides, and even I've seen the burnt out trees and things. Yeah. And, the and that I just was intuitive painting, so I'll just look at paint, uh, pictures yeah. and get kind of an idea, and then I just yeah. go with it. Yeah. So yeah, and they tell me, is there is there a blue moon coming up? Is this what I hear? Or uh, a full I don't, moon? I know there's a leap year. Is that related? No. I don't, <laughs> Is it, is it a leap year? <laughs> oh. Well, that one there is the blue moon. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But I also think, simple. of course, your your ever present um, aquamarine. Oh color. yeah, I can't help myself. There is actually not this lake, not the Okanagan Lake, but Lake Kalamalka Lake. Kalamalka, is, there's a ton of it. That color in yes, it, and I don't yes. know why, but it's a magical. Yeah, there's a thing about that. It's not tropical yeah. at all, but it's not that. It feels like it well, is. Yeah, yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, I know. It's I've tried to paint. paint in different colors, and uh, I just always go back to the blues and yeah, the greens. And that's yeah, that's really nice. Uh, Thank you. Yeah, it's all that landscape influence. Yeah. Yeah. And have you ever been to the tropics? This is where uh, the scholars come to me and haunt me forever. Yeah. Going to Bahamas when I was a kid. Yeah, I was in the Bahamas. I was yeah. thinking too much about the sharks. Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> the <Yeah>. water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, but uh, yeah, no, definitely inspired. Just color in general is, yeah. yeah. And I think that's half the fun is um, mixing your colors. So they're Ooh, not just yeah. straight out of the tube. Right. So you're coming up with yeah, that's things. a level of maturity I found as I yeah. you know, would dabble with painting now and again. It's yeah, eventually like why don't I mix colors? Yeah, like, Whoa. wow, yeah, yeah, and then complimentary. Wow, the real <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I've, I've graduated to a whole new level. Yeah. yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah, no, it's very fun with this art school that I um, uh, took. Uh, of course, you learn about drawing and sketching, and they do a lot of the old school Rembrandt style. And so it was very fascinating to go. Uh, I mean, I never would have touched doing portraits. Mm. And then now I've done a few. And oh, okay. of course, they're a little bit more abstract. But yeah. um, but one of the things that uh, they talk about is when you're working with um, acrylic paints. So those, they dry very fast. You can go over them if you don't like them. So I really like starting with acrylics. Yeah. And then you move into oil, and oil is what gives it life. Oh, of course, because yeah. the oil can sit on top of the, the, yeah. the acrylic. Yes, you can't do acrylic on top of oil, but you put oil yeah. so you can do your washes and then your highlights. Yeah. And then they talk about the cools and the warms, yeah. so you put your warms at your focal point. So, right. so yes, there's all this like scientific technology that I've mm. learned. Yes, I feel very scientific. That's good, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, now it's, now it's just <laughs> now, playing. A lot, of, a lot of people, I know you said it was an online course. Yep. So you probably move at your own pace kind of thing? Uh, they encourage you to follow. Like okay. they're fairly, um, yep, they want you to kind of follow because I think that's what would happen class. is you would yeah. fall off your schedule. Oh, okay. And no, not in a class. Okay. It's a family and so they've videotaped themselves kind of like what we're doing. Oh, okay. And then, uh, yeah, they would paint and instruct as they would go and then you would have homework. And so, okay. she, yeah, she encourages you to paint 40 hours a week. Right. Yeah, which is a lot. Yeah, I don't doubt it. There was a painter once I met in Vancouver, an older fellow. He, he um, like years earlier, had met his mentor, whoever that was. Um, and he, it was, the advice he was given was, get 300 little canvases, yeah. fill them all up, and when you're done that, you'll have a style then, that's recognizable. Uh, right, because it I is thought, all about really? finding your style, too. Yeah. yeah, And that is the trick, I think, is yeah. you just have to keep going. Yeah. Like, it's like I listen to others, and 
Oh yeah, I dabbled and then it sat in the closet for yeah. six months and then Absolutely. I went back. I bought five and... canvases. Like, <laughs> you I'm started. Not get there. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe you should go back yeah. and pull them back oh, out geez. again and try. Oh. <laughs> you can do that in your spare time when you're yeah. not framing. That's right. <laughs> Nothing's impossible. Man. No, nothing is. Well, and you'd be surprised. Is, I'm, I'm, I don't know what happened in the last few years, but I've come to the point. I hate painting. I hate oh, the mess. Oh, why? I, the, I just, it's, it's oh, messy. It, it's a texture yeah. thing? Or, or you just, just don't the like mess. the mess? It's the mess. And ah. I, maybe I just, I've never had the studio where I could ah. Close the door. Oh, you have to have a space. Fling paint everywhere. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. You got to toss and, it. And I'm all, maybe I don't have the right clothes. So I'm always worrying. Yeah, it's oh, just yeah. Don't worry about that. It's the tedium yeah. of it. It's like, ah, um, yeah, damn it. <laughs> I got to clean these. Yeah. Well, a lot of people won't touch oils because of that. Right. They think it, oh, it's too complicated, takes yeah. forever to dry. And then you're then wearing the paint all the Well, yeah. Before I came, I left a blue streak down here. I'm like, <laughs> oh, oh I could have left that for a fact. You are a work of art. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there we go. Just add dabbling. <laughs> but it's really not bad. You get in your own rhythm. But yeah, I have yeah. my own studio, so I can just close the door. And yeah, see ya. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I don't always clean my palette the day of. That's right. Mm -mm. Yeah, mm -hmm. well, that's the thing, I guess, the leap, you know. Um, yeah. Maybe I became more neurotic or more ADD <laughs> or something. Yeah. We do all these things as we get older. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we get quieter, <laughs> yeah. slower. And we don't see it. Nobody told us. Nobody talked about any yeah. of this. It's weird being in your 50s. Yes. Uh, not, I wouldn't say that about you, but uh, there's so I would much agree. about the 50s. My siblings, too. We're all in the same age group. It's like, why didn't anybody tell us these things? Right? All, these all things. the th <laughs> things. I know. This trend. Transitionary period. I just remember <laughs> as a kid saying, "Okay, why do they always talk about their health? What's with oh, that? No, yeah. Everyone's complaining about right. their health as right. they're smoking, yeah, let it drinking, go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then all of a sudden you get here like, oh yeah, things start to wear out yeah. a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Oh, but yeah, Lord. I know. <laughs> oh, you grinned. And then you it's been... one thing after another thing after another thing. <laughs> Is this your first summer in the Okanagan? Second, this will be the second summer. Second summer. Had a really beautiful time last summer. We had like a you know a couple of gallery shows yeah, in the space here. Awesome. I was getting my business uh, awesome. set up and yeah. rolling. So any repeats, or are you gonna do any? I think what's shows? gotta happen this year, um, of course, more art shows and more of this here. Um, yeah. Musical jam nights. I yeah, really, I think we that would be awesome. More of that. But I think uh, as far as being in Kelowna, yeah. got to explore the region a bit more. Yes, you didn't get, get out, out much. there. There's so many beautiful things to do and to see around here. Rock picking, we just uh, love to go out looking at rocks. And, yeah, cool. And, uh, there's so much to explore. Well, yes, and tons of wineries and hiking oh, and that. biking and yeah. Yeah, yeah, all the things. There's all the things. Uh, all of the we things. are in the area of all the things. <laughs> I wish I could remember the name of the winery. Um, a little south of us here, uh, I went with my sister to. Is it West Apple Kelowna? No, no, this side. Oh, okay. I can't remember. It's a little apple orchard on to, uh, uh, in the hills. Yeah. And there was a kiosk set up with um, a, with a fellow uh, and his ukulele and his Hawaiian songs. Oh, okay, cool. In the kiosk, and we were, you know, we'd go under the trees <laughs> and, and sit in chairs in the middle of and his listen, orchard to listen to this Hawaiian music. Yeah, how there's fantastic! Beautiful stuff yeah. going on here. And there's tons of that, and tons of. I guess they call us the second Napa Valley. Could be. Yeah, yeah. but lots of musicians that uh, yeah. go and seek out these places, breweries, wineries. Yeah. Yes. And as I've been hooking up, uh, meeting other artists nowadays, and the Kelowna Arts Council. We, mm -hmm. We know that there are bridges to be built between visual art yes. and the wineries. Yes. There's a lot of wineries that show uh, local art. And yeah, absolutely. We think maybe there's an, an art tour. Yeah, that would be the amazing. Of galleries that are open yeah. in conjunction with wine or something. Yeah, <laughs> a free glass of wine. The more wine you drink, too. the better it all looks. Right? <laughs> and they're willing to buy. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, they'll put on their Taylor wallets. Oh, yes. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> so, what. What are the current projects that uh, you've got cool. on the go? Uh, well, uh, next month, coming up quick here, there's a fundraiser uh, at a local winery in West Kelowna and for a little girl who has uh, cerebral palsy and the parents are looking to buy a, a vehicle so she right. and her wheelchair nice can get in there. Activity, yeah. 
Yeah. yeah, so I have a bunch of um, sometimes the bigger uh, paintings. So I guess I should back up. So mm. I'm going to this fundraiser as an artist uh, to donate, and so did you. So yeah. you and I are donating something similar to this for the project, and then I also have a booth, and so I'll set up artwork that I've done. Oh, nice. So I have some larger pieces, but I thought it would be nice to have some more smaller ones. Yeah, <clears throat> mm -hmm. So yeah, so I'm working on some abstract florals. Yeah. 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 Good. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, yeah. I'll well, get back to that got, later. Uh, instantly, I, I recognized um, co cohesive strength, uh, whatever size you're doing. Ah, thank which, you. Uh, I don't notice with everybody. Some oh, people yeah. that are doing the big stuff and they suddenly go small, and it's like, where are all your magic? Where's all your magic? You know, <laughs> yeah. Or vice versa. But you you really mm -hmm. translate. Well, Absolutely. thank you. It is, uh, it is a bit of a mind bender. And actually, one of the uh, practices that we did, not again 300, but we were had uh, about 10, I guess, 10 or 11 little canvases set up, and to do them all at the same time. So this oh, guy was right. actually one of those. So that does something else to your brain too because yeah. now you're kind of like okay I'm over here and then I'm gonna take this color and then I'm gonna go over here and so that's fun yeah. uh, going like very a multi-course meal yeah the at the same yeah. time it's so timing, it's, uh, <laughs> yeah <laughs> I'm, in the, I'm in the kitchen <laughs> so currently I have four but I'm kind of just sticking with one taking it to a certain Right. And then I'll move on to the next one. But yeah, it's just fun. It's uh, recently I also did a, um, uh, a girl's face, and I don't do those very often. But they're kind of fun because I do them abstract. And so I, I did it for Valentine's Day. I called it love letters. And right. so I did some newspaper collage, and then a bunch of background abstracts, and then kind of wiggled this face in there. That's right. Yeah. And she looks like a little bit like she's from the tropics, perhaps. Yeah. 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 The picture was so that. That one I actually I went on uh, Pinterest and I grabbed a photo so she's oh, very nice. very dark lovely dark skin and she was actually quite hard to see yeah. so a lot of that I had to just kind of make up as uh, I went okay. so again it's challenging the the brain yeah. so yeah, yeah it's good yes yeah, very fun thank you everyone for uh, watching us with all our ramblings of all the things <laughs> if you'd like to learn anything more about me or how i do art you can subscribe to my youtube channel or check me out on the net at carlyrangenart.com <laughs>